Good morning everyone. So it is our last sea day on Liberty of the Seas. Um, so I just went to the gym this morning and I was walking up to the treadmill to warm up and I looked down at my leg and I was like, oh my gosh, I got bitten alive by mosquitoes yesterday. And usually like, I feel like I don't really get bitten or I don't really feel like I've got bitten and they don't really itch or anything like that. Um, and they don't really itch, but I've got a huge one on my shin. None of you guys can see it like right there but then i also have a pimple i don't know if i want to show it it's kind of gross a pimple on my knee like there um which kind of scares me because i know sorry it's really gross it scares me because i was in thailand a few years ago um and after i got back i had the same thing on my knee and i had a pimple on my knee and obviously i was like what the hell why is there a pimple on my knee it's so weird so i squeezed the pimple um and then over the next few days, my knee started to like swell up and I got really, really sick. I couldn't walk on my knee. I got rushed to hospital and I had to have an epidural in my back and they kept me there overnight and they basically operated on my knee and said it was like super infected. Um, and yeah, it was, it was quite serious. So I have a huge scar from that. So this is the old scar from in Thailand when I had to get my knee operated but this when this happened it started like this which is why I'm worried and there but now I've got another huge pimple on my knee so I'm worried that it's like the exact same thing so I'm gonna quickly go down to the medical office and um, see what they have to say also at this time there's like the mosquitoes have that Zeke virus which it affects pregnant women but I don't know I mean I don't know if it affects like if you're not pregnant but it's pretty serious like if you're pregnant and you get bitten by one of those Zeke mosquitoes you're like the baby can it can really really affect the baby a lot um, and if you google the effects of it I mean it's pretty dangerous so yeah um that I, I don't know if it can affect you normally but anyway I'm gonna go check it out because I don't really want to have to go to the hospital again so we're gonna see what the medical uh, the medical guys downstairs have to say I'm pretty sure if I just keep it clean and don't pop it it should be fine because the mistake I made last time I think was popping it and then it got infected so uh, yeah we're gonna go down there and then um, we're gonna go upstairs and check out um, uh, some of the new slides that they've got here on Liberty of the Seas. So, yeah, that's the plan. I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Sorry for the long introduction, but yeah, that's just, that's basically what's happening right now. So, yep, let's go to the medical office. Open at 8 to 11, 4 to 7. All right, the medical facility is closed, so we're going to come back at 4 p.m. All right. Okay, time to go check out these slides. Like I said, it's our last sea day, and um, they've actually got some new slides on Liberty of the Seas. One of the slides I've just seen, you actually go down in a double tube. I'm very, very excited. Let's go! Oh my gosh guys, so we just finished 
guys and honestly I didn't expect it to be scary but I was screaming the whole way down it was actually a lot scarier than I thought it was um because we ate so much dessert last night we haven't eaten any breakfast steaks so we were so so full so the time is around 2 30 and we are just about to grab some lunch and then I have to go back to my room and edit the story for today but yeah um, and then I actually need to go down to the medical office because I still haven't even got my leg seen yet I hope it's gonna be okay I think it should be but I want to go make sure I just was all. It's no lunch. What was that lunch? My plate is so full though. We all have spaghetti. I'm not gonna finish. I know I got spaghetti, I never get spaghetti, but spaghetti bolognese for some reason I just like I really want some spaghetti bolognese. I'm very excited. Alright guys, so I just finished editing the Instagram story and now we are on our way to the medical facility because it is open. Trent needs a coffee, so we're gonna go grab a coffee and then we're going straight down to medical. Hopefully my leg is okay. He's dying. I need a coffee. <laughs> he needs coffee, guys. Don't worry, we're getting him one. We just left the, we just went into the medical facility and we spoke to the lady. Basically she's just given me some antibiotics to sort of um, rub over the top of my knee and says don't open it or don't scratch it or anything like that because if you do scratch it then it's prone to like infection and that's exactly what happened before my leg got infected. So I've just got to keep it clean as possible and she said if it's there still on Monday then I have to go see a doctor. So fingers crossed it disappears in the next few days. Um, what's the plan now? Let's go to the art auction. Oh yeah, there's an art auction. So the ships actually have like quite a lot of really cool art on there. So for those of you guys that are into art, um, you can come down and check out the art auction. It's pretty cool. Or even if you just want to like see like some of the stuff that they have, um, you can just go down to like the art gallery and take a look. Maybe something tickles your fancy. I used to be obsessed with this Romero Brito when I was younger because it was like so colourful and poppy arty. Used to be my favourite. So most of all Caribbean ships actually have art galleries on there and they have art auctions as well throughout the trip. Right now they're not having an art auction but they've put all the paintings out so if you are interested in actually just buying a painting you can just come over at the end and uh, choose the ones that you want to buy. So for all you art lovers out there you might find some artwork on one of these ships that you want to take home. Alright guys so we just left the room got changed we were heading out to dinner and today's like our sweet day like I said and they have this ice cream machine on board where you can just grab a cone and fill up the ice cream any time of day all day so that's uh we haven't tried it yet so we thought why not try it today oh he's going in for the double <laughs> <laughs> what are we like? We have a we have we have a problem with food. Yeah. Like we literally I think we have a problem with food. Now another look. <laughs> so good. Hey Trent. Hey Trent. <laughs> As he walks into the wind shower. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just got to the wind jammer. By the way guys, just want to let you know that this whole trip we went to Chops twice and we went to Giovanni's table so we haven't been here every single night but uh, we are here now. The chef just came up to me and he's like, well, let me know when you're ready because your apple crumble we've made it and it's ready for you. We were like, we'll let you know. <laughs> But they've actually got quite a good, few good things. They've got like lobster here tonight. They've got a crepe station. Um, yeah, loads and loads of seafood, which is really nice. A nice little change. I'm enjoying it. Oh my gosh, I haven't even finished my main yet, but the chef just brought out our apple pie that he promised us. So, oh, apple crumble, sorry. So excited. Look at it. Woo! And the crust looks extra crispy, just how I like it. All right, food is finished. And it's time for the apple pie that we've been waiting for all week. And you're going to test the crust for me, okay? okay. <laughs> is it looking good? I'd say 9 out of 10. Ooh. <laughs> mm. I got 
can't wait to eat this. It's so good. All right, guys, we just left Winjama. We are stuffed. We had so much dessert. It was so, so good. Now we've come downstairs and we have come to check out the Lebros with the happiest farmers ever. <laughs> He's getting shy now, but he is really happy. <laughs> Is annoying Edward. Then put the soda, water. Hi guys, so we just finished off at Valeria's. We basically just chilled there and spoke to Edward, who is a really awesome uh, bartender there. We are gonna head to bed now. It's our last day. We have to wake up super early and head to the airport because I'm heading to London tomorrow. Woo! I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Don't forget to follow me on all social media at Literally Amiga, and I'll see you in my next video. Good night!